your family and friends, the people you care about the most. Naturally, with people you care for, you worry about them. You want to help them in any way you can because you don't want to see them in pain. But when they're in a situation where they're suffering, where no matter how hard you try, you can't help them, it becomes painful. However, there's hope. There's a future for them. Universities and researchers have come together to create neuroprosthetics to help these types of people. Neuroprosthetics are extremely useful and are able to improve people's quality of life. Let's talk about neuromodulation. Neuromodulation is a treatment category where some sort of stimulation, either chemical or electrical in nature, is distributed to the nervous system for therapeutic purposes. One example of neuromodulation is deep brain stimulation. In this type of neuromodulation, electrodes are implanted into deep structures of the brain. First, an MRI is used to pinpoint exactly where to place the electrodes within the three-dimensional structure of the brain. Next, surgery is performed, either under general anesthesia or a local one, meaning you could be awake for this minimally invasive procedure. Next, a pulse generator is implanted into the chest and linked to the electrodes using wires. This pulse generator can be remotely controlled from outside the body to produce a wide variety of pulse patterns, allowing for customization to meet each individual patient's needs. DBS is used to treat symptoms of movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease, dystonia, and tremors by targeting the internal segment of the globus pallidus, subthalamic nucleus, and thalamus. It is also currently used to treat epilepsy and severe OCD. Research is currently being conducted to see if DBS is a viable option to treat a number of other conditions including addiction, chronic pain, cluster headache, dementia, depression, Huntington's disease, multiple sclerosis, stroke recovery, Tourette's syndrome, and traumatic brain injury. Brain Computer Interface, or BCI, is a machine system connecting to the brain that transmits information between the brain, the surrounding environment, and a machine. Brain signals of an individual are decoded by an external system into signals used by the BCI machine. Examples of decoding mechanisms include non-invasive scalp-recorded electroencephalographic signals, or EEG signals, and invasive intracortical EEG signals. Through neuromodulation, BCI can treat diseases such as epilepsy, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, anxiety, and deafness, specifically sensory neural hearing loss. In the case of treating sensory neural hearing loss, cochlear implants are used. A cochlear implant is a device surgically implanted into the ear that allows people to hear. Once a patient has been determined fit, an electrode array is threaded into the cochlea under general anesthesia. A sound processor placed behind the ear communicates with this implant. These devices work together to translate the auditory input into electrical signals, sending them directly to the brain through the auditory nerve. Although this is different than organic hearing, it can be just as useful with practice. As seen through the cochlear implant example, feedback gathered from the BCI machine alters activity in the brain. This is especially helpful when calibrating and connecting the machine with the patient's brain. Future neuromodulation can be used beyond the use of treatments. It can be used to create new electronics that are controlled by our very own mind. This can be seen in Michigan with the brain gate neural interface system. Basically, how this works is your mind and your very own thoughts control cursor movements. Now who wouldn't want that in their home? Now you don't have to reach for that remote anymore. With neuromodulation, the disabilities of the past are no longer the disabilities of the future. With research, there's hope that our family and our friends can live life without debilitating conditions or pain. The future is right there. We just have to choose it.